Okay, good afternoon. Uh, the annual general meeting of the College of Registered Psychiatric Nurses of Manitoba will now come to order. My name is Tracy Teeley. I'm a registered psychiatric nurse and I'm also the president of the College of Registered Psychiatric Nurses of Manitoba. Beside me is Laura Pantelok, the CRPNM Executive Director and Registrar. We're very pleased uh, to be able to welcome you here today and thank you for taking the time out of your day uh, to join us. COVID-19 has required that we ensure appropriate measures and supports are in place to protect the health and support of our employees volunteers, registrants, and members of the public. This has meant that making some changes uh, to our business practices, including how we conduct our annual general meeting. So this is the second time we've conducted our AGM in a virtual format. Technology can sometimes uh, require some extra time and resources. Therefore, there might be moments when we stop to facilitate online participation and voting, so I just want to thank you in advance for your patience and understanding as we once again conduct our annual meeting in a different way than we have done in the past. I would like to begin by acknowledging that Manitoba is on the original lands of the Dakota, Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Diné, Inuit and Métis Nation. We acknowledge that the College of Registered Psychiatric Nurses of Manitoba is located on Treaty 1 territory. We respect the treaties that were made on these territories and we acknowledge the harms and mistakes of the past. We dedicate ourselves to moving forward in partnership with First Nations, Métis and Inuit communities in a spirit of reconciliation and collaboration. Before we go any further with the business of the meeting, I'm going to ask Laura Pantala to provide a few instructions regarding the logistics of the virtual meeting. Thank you, Tracy, and welcome everyone. We wanted to take a few minutes to orientate you to the environment we're using and to provide you with some information. This is the official annual general meeting of the college. To ensure we have an accurate record of the meeting, who attended and the decisions that were made, the online meeting is being recorded. After you registered for the AGM, you were provided with a link to join the meeting. This link is unique to you and is your personal identifier. Using the link provides a record of your attendance and evidence of your participation in the virtual meeting. This unique login also allows you submit, to submit questions during the meeting and if you're on the practicing register to vote on the motions. To provide for optimum sound quality for all attendees, all participants are muted during the AGM. There might be occasions where you'll be asked to unmute your microphone, but you will not be prompted to turn on your camera. You will hear the audio from this room and will see the presentations on your screen. If you're a voting member of the college, i.e. an RPN on the practicing register, you will need to be logged into your computer or your device to vote. We understand that you may have to step away on occasion, but we ask that you do your best to be in the virtual room when it's time to vote. You must be present to cast your vote. On your screen, you, you will see screenshots of the features we will use. The location of these features will depend on the device that you're using. The meeting package was posted on the CRPNM website in advance of the meeting as an and is accessible to all registrants. The meeting documents can also be found in the document section of the GoToWebinar, again, depending on uh, the device you're using. If you open a document and accidentally log yourself out, all you have to do is go back to your unique login to rejoin the meeting. We have designated time for questions. Please type your questions using the question and answer feature. Questions can be typed at any time and will be addressed at the appropriate intervals of the agenda. If you need a minute to formulate your questions during the designated times, please use the raise your hand feature to let us know that you need a bit more time and that you're formulating your question. Your questions will be read aloud and answered through the audio feed. If your question is of a technical nature, staff will respond to you privately over the question and answer feature function. Sorry. When a motion is called, the motion will appear on your computer screen. To move or second the motion, please use, your raise, please use the raise your hand feature. The chair will recognize and announce the name of those who have moved or second a motion. When the vote is called, the question will appear on the screen. The polling function will pop up for 30 seconds. If you're entitled to vote, you indicate in favor or not in favor by clicking on the appropriate response on your screen. If you're not entitled to vote, 
entitled to vote, we ask that you do not click on the screen. Only those on the practicing register are entitled to vote. The votes will be automatically tallied and the results announced by the chair. The college will also audit the voting results after the meeting. Are there any questions before we proceed? And again, if you need a minute to formulate your question, please use the raise your hand feature to let us know that you're typing the question. Okay, uh, seeing none, there's no questions, so we're going to proceed. At this time, I'd like to introduce you to uh, the Board of Directors. The members of the Board of Directors are featured on your screen, uh, and our board members are all attending virtually. I'd like to acknowledge my fellow board members who have served on the board from the 2019 to 2021 term of office. Uh, Vice President Wanda Bryan, RPN. Executive Member at Large, Candace Holden Piosh, Public Member. Chair of our Finance Committee, Kellyanne Stevenson, RPN. And then our Directors, Annette McDougall, RPN. Jennifer McKivley, RPN. Sharon Mullins, RPN. Taryn Schrott, RPN. Andrea Thompson, RPN. Sarah Wickstrom, RPN. Richard Sweep. RPN, Kristen Croker, public member, Joanne Burns, ministerial appointment, Carol Lubkowski, ministerial appointment, and also Destiny Watt, Miss ministerial appointment. The CRPNM is proud of our collaborative relationships with other nursing and other regulatory colleagues and our education and practice leaders. We are pleased to welcome representatives from the College of Registered Nurses of Manitoba and the Association of Regulated Nurses of Manitoba here today. We also extend a warm welcome to any members of the public who are joining us today. I'd also like to take this time to introduce you to the members of the CRPNM staff that are also pictured on your screen. I've already introduced you to Laura Pantluck, our Executive Director and Registrar. We also have our practice consultant and deputy registrar, Ryan Shimko, registration and executive coordinator, Grace Lacerio, administrative assistant, Sherry Lanies, and our contract accountant, which is John Schmidt. We're now gonna proceed with the business proportion of the annual general meeting. A quorum for any annual or special general meeting of the college shall be at least 12 practicing registered psychiatric nurses. I will ask Grace to provide a credentials report. The number of voting members in attendance online at the start of the meeting was 16 for a total of 16 voting members. Thanks, Grace. A quorum is achieved for the annual general meeting of the College of Registered Psychiatric Nurses of Manitoba. The rules of procedure was emailed to online participants in advance of the meeting and is also available for download on the college's website and the document button on your device. Only registered psychiatric nurses are eligible to vote, are entitled to vote, and RPNs have been approved to vote by the virtue of your registration for the AGM. We would like to direct your attention to rules 10, 11, and 12, at the end of the discussion, the question will be called. Online voting will be conducted by a polling function. A poll will show up on your screen with the motion and two options, either in favor or not in favor. After 30 seconds, the poll will close and you will no longer be able to vote. The results of the vote will be automatically tabulated by the GoToWebinar program and reported to the president who will read them out loud to the meeting participants. A majority vote is required for the adoption of the motion. I would just like to make note of the rights of the observers. Observers have the right to voice with the chair's permission, but no observer shall have a vote. The agenda for the AGM was emailed to all registered participants in advance of the meeting and is also available for download on the college's website and of course the document button on your device. If there is no objection, 
the agenda will be adopted as circulated. Okay, okay, we'll move forward. <clears throat> a copy of the 2020 annual meeting minutes is available to download on your device for your information. Sherry Lanies will be our recording secretary for the meeting. The recording of the meeting will be used to make any corrections or adjustments to our minutes before they are recommended to the board for approval. At this point, I'm gonna point our scrutineer and our scrutineer will assist myself by confirming and recording the votes. And I will be appointing Grace Lasario to monitor the online voting results to ensure accuracy. I'm gonna move on now to the president and executive director's report. Serving and protecting the public interest is the college's number one priority. It is our responsibility to communicate openly and honestly with the public and to strive for transparency. The work of the college is supported by the registered psychiatric nurses and members of the public at every level. We could not accomplish our work without the support and collaboration of the board members, the staff at the college, registered psychiatric nurse and public volunteers, our education and practice leaders, and our nursing and other health regulatory colleges in Manitoba and across Canada. The president and executive director's report has been circulated in the annual report and can be found on pages six and seven. Copies of the annual report can be found with the meeting materials and is available for download from the CRPNM website. We have allotted 10 minutes for questions. So again, please use the, key, uh, the Q and A function to type your question. Are there any questions on the president and executive director's report? And please remember, if you do need uh, an extra minute to formulate your question, please just use the raise your hand feature to let us know that you're typing your question. Okay, thank you. Uh, there are no questions then, so we will proceed. The College of Registered Psychiatric Nurses of Manitoba provides an annual report to the Minister of Health in accordance with the provisions of the Registered Psychiatric Nurses Act. The report covers the period from January 1st, 2020 to December 31st, 2020, and includes statistical information and a financial statement of accounts of the college as required by the act. As noted, copies of the annual report can be found within the meeting materials and is available for download from the CRPNM website. We again have allotted 10 minutes for questions. Please use the Q&A function to type your question. Uh, and again, if you do need a minute to uh, formulate your question, please just use the raise the hand function feature to know uh, to hold on because you're typing your question. More questions? Okay, hearing uh, that there are no questions, we will uh, continue to proceed. The CRPNM accountant, John Schmidt, will be available to answer any questions about the audited financial statement. We will invite John to turn on his camera and test his audio at this time.
Good afternoon. Can you hear me? Absolutely, we can. Thank you and Great. welcome, John. Thank you. The CRPNM's Finance Committee assists the Board of Directors to fulfill its fiduciary responsibilities for financial reporting, internal controls, auditing, and accountability for the use of the college's assets. The board ensures an independent audit of the college's finances on an annual basis. On March 13, 2021, the board reviewed and approved the audited financial statements for the year, ending December 31st, 2021. The audited statements are published in the annual report, and we would direct your attention to these statements at this time. We have again allotted 10 minutes for questions. Please use the Q&A function to type your question. So are there any questions about the audited financial statements? And again, if you do need a minute to formulate your question, please just use the raise your hand feature to let us know that you are formulating your question and need some time to type it. Okay, there were no questions, so we will proceed. Thanks, John. To continue to prepare for the CRPNM's transition to regulation under the Regulated Health Professions Act, known as the RHPA, and to ensure that the college has the appropriate structures and resources in place for this transition, the board is recommending changes to some of the CRPNM bylaws. The proposed changes include introducing general neutral language, defining in good standing, decreasing the board size to 11 and identifying the board composition, which would be seven RPNs and four public members, introducing the president-elect position, removing the requirement for an executive committee, removing provisions that they're already covered in the board's governance policies, removing the article on committees to prepare for a different committee structure under the RHPA, policy in terms of reference currently address this section, removing any reference to life members, establishing that the unauthorized practice and reinstatement fees are set by the board from time to time, and some general housekeeping. The Registered Psychiatric Nurses Act requires that the board provide a copy of the proposed bylaws to the members for their review and comment, and that the board review and consider the comments received. The proposed bylaw changes were posted on the CRPNM website from May 5th to 19th, 2021, for member consultation. An annotated version of the proposed bylaws with the rationale was provided. There was no comments received by the end of the day on May 19th, 2021. The proposed bylaw changes as they are originally published are being recommended for approval by the members of the CRPNM annual general meeting. These proposed bylaw changes with the rationale were available for download on the college's website in advance of the meeting. They can be found in the document section of the GoToWebinar also on your device. The motion is now on your screen. It was moved by the Board of Directors, but the motion is that the proposed revisions to the College of Registered Psychiatric Nurses of Manitoba bylaws be approved as circulated. Is there a seconder? And please raise your hand, uh, use the raise hand function to second the motion. Isabel Jaren has seconded the motion, so thank you, Isabel. We have allotted 10 minutes for discussion. Is there any discussion regarding the proposed bylaw changes? Again, if you do need a moment to formulate your question, please use your raise your hand uh, feature to let us know. Okay. 
we do have a question coming in, so we're just going to hold on and wait here. Okay. Yep. No further hands up, Brian. Okay. Uh, there were no questions. I will now call for the question. The question is on the approval of the bylaw changes. So please open online voting. We have 100% in favor. Okay, the online poll is now uh, closed. We have 100% of those who voted are in favor, so the motion is carried. We're going to move to the motion of the 2022 Practicing Registered Psychiatric Nursing Registration Fee. So the CRPNM bylaws identify that the fees for practicing registration are recommended by the board and approved by the members at the general meeting of the college. One of the board's responsibilities is to ensure that the college has enough resources to finance its operations. In exercising this responsibility, the board uses a five-year plan to forecast the impact of different scenarios on our revenue and our expenses, and makes recommendations about the registration and other fees. The board carefully considered what is happening in our external environment, including the longer term and unknown financial impacts of COVID-19, the expenses to implement the Regulated Health Professions Act, the college's rising discipline costs, and the assumptions used in the five-year plan to determine the practicing registration fee for 2022. It has been determined that a fee increase of 3% $17 will be required next year to ensure the college has adequate fiscal resources to meet its financial and statutory obligations. The CRPNM Board of Directors is therefore recommending that the 2022 practicing fees be set as $574 plus the GST. The motion now is on your screen. This was moved by the Board of Directors and the motion is that the practicing registration, practicing registration psychiatric nurse registration fee for the 2022 be $574 plus the GST. I'm going to ask if there's a seconder for the motion and please again use the raise your hand function to second the motion. Pamela Goulet. Sorry, Pamela. Pamela Goulet. Pamela Goulet. Thank you. I second uh, the motion. We have now allocated 10 minutes for discussion. So is there any questions or discussion regarding the proposed 2022 practicing registration fee?
Okay, uh, there are no questions or discussion, so I will now call for the question. And the question is on the approval of the 2022 practicing registered psychiatric nurse registration fee. And please open the online voting. Okay, the online poll is now closed. So, I, could I please? Okay, we have 100% of those who voted are in favor, and the motion is carried. We're going to move on to the introduction of the 2021-2023 Board of Directors. The chair of the CRPNM's Governments Committee, Linda Stiles, will provide a report on the 2021 election. I'll now invite Linda to test her audio at this time. Can you hear me? Absolutely can. Thank you and welcome, Linda. Go ahead. Okay, thank you, Tracy. Um, I'd just like to share that the Governance Committee's role is to ensure effective board governance and leadership to the College of Registered Psychiatric Nurses of Manitoba through board succession planning and board member development. Over the past several years, the Governance Committee has worked diligently to assist the board to define its government structure and meet its proprietary responsibilities through the development of governance policies and formal processes for board orientation and evaluation. The Governance Committee has also been preparing to implement the governance structure and processes that will be required when we transition to regulation under the Regulated Health Professionals Act, which includes decreasing the board size to 11 at this election. To meet the requirements of Section 6, um, paragraph 7 of the Registered Psychiatric Nurses Act, the Governance Committee acts as the college's appointment committee and nominating committee during an election. The CRPN bylaws and policies outline the processes for nomination and elections. During an election year for the college, all elected board positions are open. There were seven such positions for the 21-23 board term. The Governance Committee issued the call for nominees for the 2021-23 board term on March 26, 2021. At the deadline for nominations, there were seven nominees for the seven RPN board positions. An election was not required. The candidates are declared by acclamation. And at this time, I would like to introduce you to the seven RPNs acclaimed for the 21 to 23 board term. They include Wanda Bryan, Maya Mulholly, Annette McDougall, Melissa Ramahawk, sorry, Melissa, Tracy Tealy, uh, Andrea Thompson, Thompson, and Richard Sweet. We encourage you to visit the CRPM website to learn more about the RPN board members. I would also like to introduce you to the public representatives for the 21-23 board term. They include Joanne Burns, Carol Lebakowski, and Destiny Watt. They have all been appointed by the Minister of Health and Seniors Care. And Candace Holden Plush, who will be appointed by the board, uh, by the board. The new board of directors will meet immediately following the AGM to appoint the public representatives, to elect the president and the president-elect, and to appoint the college committees. And I'll hand the chair back to Tracy. Perfect, thank, thank you very you. much. At this time, I would like to acknowledge the outgoing board and committee members. I truly do want to thank you for your commitment, your dedication and service to the college. 
whether you've involved with the college for a short period of time or for many, many years, please know that your contributions are truly valued and appreciated. We want to thank you for taking your time to volunteer with the college and working with us to help protect the public and to regulate the psychiatric nurses profession across Manitoba. So from the board, I'd like to recognize Jennifer McKilvey, RPN, Sharon Mullins, RPN, Taryn Schrott, RPN, Kellyanne Stevenson, RPN, Sarah Wickstrom, RPN, and Kristen Croker, our public representative. I also want to thank Kellyanne for your roles on the executive and also on the finance committee. And also thanks uh, to Sarah and uh, Kristen for agreeing to a further one-year term on the finance committee. From our quality assurance committee, I'd like to recognize some of the outgoing members. Sharon Kambiathakis, RPN, and Robert Dukoliak, RPN. Also from our discipline committee, I'd like to extend our uh, thanks to Marg Sintishin, RPN. Again, Robert Sokoliak, RPN. Ken Cron, RPN. Melissa Ramhara, RPN. Kelly Sweenan, RPN. And Renee Martins, RPN. So at this point in time, this actually concludes the business of our meeting. There is no further business, so the annual general meeting will be adjourned at 4.33 p.m. I want to thank you for your time and attention and attendance today. You will receive an email seeking your feedback on the meeting today, so we would really appreciate hearing from you. And board members, we ask that after this, you immediately log on for a brief board meeting with the Teams link that was sent to you and as previously uh, provided. So thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.